xin chào tôi là người đài loan ok 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 it's fine it's good it's good hello mọi người hà minh trang đây đạp gió dễ sóng for Vietnamese culture national television put a news that this kind of thing is kind of trashy I like this one the best really that's so good oh my god I keep getting surprised by the quality of this music yeah video. So yeah good. mình đã mời đến đây chị Sandy Hi, I'm Sunny. I'm 20 years old and currently studying King's College London with Chan. With Chan. <laughs> and hopefully I can progress to accounting and finance next year. And by the way, I'm also the only friend of, of Tran in London. Really? Yeah. Yes. You are? <laughs> Và ngày hôm nay thì bọn mình sẽ cùng để chị xem đi nghe các MV ca nhạc ở của Việt Nam và mình đã chọn ra ba nghệ sĩ với mình thì nó đại diện cho ba cái luồng âm nhạc mà nó hiện đang phổ biến và hiện hành ở Việt Nam. Ba nghệ sĩ đấy chính là MCK, Chipu và Sơn Dùng MTP. Ok thì bây giờ mình cùng bắt đầu luôn nhá để mình có thể nói tiếng Anh cho chị xem đi có thể hiểu. What do you know about the Vietnamese music sphere? Usually I don't listen to Vietnamese songs so like the only source I can listen to uh, Vietnamese song is just from For example, TikTok. So yeah. Like the only song is like. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like it's everyone knows that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's probably the only thing I know. From. Yeah, that ting ting tang tang, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know Keshi. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you're the one who told me he's Vietnamese. He's famous, like yeah. worldwide. Really? Like, um, do you listen to his songs a lot? Not a lot. Like usually, I would listen to, but not like a super fan of them. Do you know Thuy? No. <laughs> Girls like me don't cry. I think I probably heard like it's on TikTok, part. right? Yeah, 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 probably. Girls like me pretend that we don't okay, cry. Okay, okay, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So today I'm gonna show you like three artists. Last time we did a reel, I, I did show you this artist, which is okay. MC Key. For context, last time I showed Sandy two of MC Key's song, which is I think Bad Trip and Show Me Love. Yeah, so yeah. how do you feel about that? I think it, it was really good. Like it was more than I was expecting to hear from like a Vietnamese artist or something. Really? You yeah, like yeah. under expected? <laughs> no, 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 I don't think that. I wasn't expecting something because I didn't listen to it. So it was oh, like yeah. more than my expectation. I was like, oh, oh yeah. this is actually really good. Yeah. Okay. And this is like our generation's song. Yeah, so yeah, 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 that's right. One. I'm gonna show you another song of him. It's a different song on the album. His album shows a lot of his sides. Okay. And this time will be like a more um, like calm and deep and like okay. internal. Emotional? Yeah, okay, emotional okay. and internal. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Wanna go with subtitle? Okay. Ừ thì anh đã ớt hơn Vẫn muốn biết em đang thấy thế nào Em ơi, có lẽ anh chỉ là thằng điên Đã tìm thấy em Ở một nơi mà sau này anh nhận ra Ở trong mơ Okay. <laughs> I think Amanda songs you show me, I like this one the best. Really? I really like this kind of melody. Yeah. Like, overall, I think this one is the best. Because really? I don't I don't really listen to rap songs a lot. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying rap songs is bad, just, like, yeah. my music type is more like this kind of like type. Yeah. I'm more into this kind of music. Are you impressed with the the melody more or the lyrics more? I think first of all I would say melody because that's the, the first thing that comes into my mind. Yeah. And lyrics, I think it's also good because that kind of reflects his like mind and then like, yeah. his mind, thought of everything. Yeah. And then yeah, I would say melody because that. Yeah. Like, Honestly, like for most of the album, I really love the way he plays with the lyrics, and I think that's very hard for foreigners to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so I think like, he did a good, good job. Yeah. To, like combine everything together. Yeah. So normally, if like for foreigners, like you, you would be more hit first impression by like, the melody. Yeah, yeah. Because imagine you're just like scrolling on your phone, and definitely you're gonna yeah, listen to the yeah, yeah. first. You yeah. Just look at the lyrics. Like, yeah, and like see the translation and yeah. stuff. So next song would be um, Tối nay ta đi đâu nhờ? 
which is like, um, where should we go tonight? The translation is very like near, like near the, yeah, yeah, I think it's accurate. Quite a short song. But I actually right? also really like this song. Really? I, especially when heavier bits come in. Yeah. I really like that part. And also the contrast between like heavy bits and then the soft lyrics. Yeah. The oh, lyrics yeah. isn't like strong and then like, I don't know, it's like oh, so based like, on the English yeah, translation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you mean like the strong beat, but with like a very soft, soft like, like and, lyrics? Yeah, yeah, like mental. Yeah, something. yeah. There's one thing that's very special about MCK because you know me, I don't really like man who smoke or showing like a bad boy vibe. Yeah, yeah. But then I think he did a really great job of like incorporating that into yeah. songs to make it romantic, like yeah, to yeah. romanticize yeah, it. Yeah, that's what Although, I mean. Although like in real life, I would not agree with that. In music, it's like yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes you need that naughty side to make the song feel a lot more, yeah. you know, like special and like balanced. Yeah, to balance it better. Like, yeah. yeah Out of the four songs, which one do you like best? I think also still the third one. Still the, the third the one? one in this video. I think you resembles a lot of like Vietnamese audience. Cause like most of oh, them really? like that one. Yeah. Remember last time when I told you one of his specialties is his use of auto tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he also used that in this song. Yeah. So do you feel it clearly, or like can you hear that clearly? I can hear it, but it's not too strong that I get annoyed by the song. In this song, he made a good balance to yeah. use like the auto tube, like yeah, between like yeah. normal sound and that sound. But you're really going to be surprised with this woman. She's currently joining a program in China, Vietnam. It's called Ti Ti Dap Gió Dễ Sóng. I know the two first words. It's like sister. Oh, okay. Tia Tia. Yeah. Okay. But then let's listen to her music video first. She collaborates with Korean producer. Okay. And that the Korean producer is also the producer of Tiara's music. You know Tiara's? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So is she more famous or uh, the MCK? The three people I show you represent the three different like streams of music that oh, the so Vietnamese like sphere. Streams. Yeah, oh. different streams. So we cannot really compare. Oh. And I think most of her songs are really with expensive budget. Just based on the fact they told me that she worked yeah. with the Korean producer. But actually in Vietnam, she received a lot of controversy. Really? Why? Because um, of her vocal skills. She used to be a model. And then she she decided to move on to sing, and people would be like, "Why is she trying to like like step into like a sphere that she's yeah, she's yeah, not yeah. familiar with?" Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So the first song would be "Welcome to My Team," but in Vietnam, "team" is a word for heart. Okay. So like when she said "Welcome to My Team," it's both team and team. Well, like welcome to, to my, my heart, team right? and my heart. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's Check sixteen from. plus. Huh? It's sixteen plus. Okay. Like you can feel it, already feel like it's very well budgeted yeah, yeah, yeah. and very well invested. They definitely in. made all of this up. Yeah. He's Korean. He used to be in uh, Huarang. You know Huarang, the the drama. Oh, I know, like Park Su. Yeah, like, Park Seo Jun. Yeah. yeah. And V from BTS. Right? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Like first impression? I think it's kind of Korean style. I can. <laughs> what? It's kind of what? It feels a bit. The melody, it yeah. feels a bit Korean. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he ends up still being here. <laughs> okay. What do you think? I think the color and the filter of the video looks so Korean. Honestly, it's Honestly, not the so first Korean. time. It's not the first time I watch, but like I still got goosebumps. Like, I think the production is like fantastic. Yeah, and also it's phenomenal. The way like she dances looks yeah. like a Korean, like a K-pop group, you know? Like yeah. Filter, even she's on her own. Overall, uh, the color and the produce like of this video looks yeah. so Korean. What do you think about the the song? I think it sounds is good, but yeah, well, like. That's not like the type of song I listen to usually. Yeah. Like I think overall it's still good. Like just based on the video, I think it's good. And her vocal is really 
fits the song a lot. Yeah, a lot of Chibu songs and like videos are trying to be more open with uh, really oh, like, like being sexy, being know, sexy like, yeah, and yeah. like showing your body. But for Vietnamese culture, national television put a news that this kind of thing is kind of trashy. Đây là xác. But honestly, for me, I don't really agree with that because I think she like she put a lot of hard work into her music videos. Somehow, they should still have like a more open view to her and shouldn't say it's trashy because that's yeah. a bit of like a heavy word to like say yeah, to someone bit... who try to contribute a lot to the like Vietnamese music market. Yeah, yeah I think it's gonna be more acceptable in the future because now like yeah. I can kind of get it because for Asian culture, yeah. people are more conservative about this. Yeah, to talk about you know like sex, but I think eventually it's gonna be acceptable for. Yeah. Everyone. Okay, so this. Oh, I know this. TV what is show. this? What is it called in China? Is it like they use the wind and like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I imagine they're on the same boat and then they're yeah. like oh. going, to, going with the flow of the wave and then they're yeah. like breaking every like obstacles. Barriers. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, that, that's what I understand yeah. from a Vietnamese person. The, the artist yeah. um, changed her outfit into like a really red rose, like a real red rose. Oh. She's speaking Vietnamese. She's really pretty, right? Yeah, she is. Oh, she's the top. Yeah, she's very famous. Oh, she's Taiwan. Yang Yang. She's really famous in Taiwan. Ella? Yeah, Ella is famous. You know me? Chipu even even uh, gifted Amber like a Vietnamese ticket to travel to Vietnam, and then uh, an ao dài, which is the Vietnam traditional dress. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I saw that in like other vlogs. What did she say? Like next one is he, is her. Oh, so it's her performance, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I really like this song too. Oh, she's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, she sings in Chinese. Like how, like how did how did she do that? Oh, she wanted Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she keeps changing her outfit. Oh, <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, four, four times. She mentioned like four times. She's very experienced. She is. So, what do you think about her? Compared to the previous one you showed me, this one, this song is more like overall it's good, but more yeah. like the song from last generation. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like... But I still, would, the message, I really like the message. Yeah, yeah, the lyrics itself is really nice. Yeah. Like the melody and then how she sing it, it's really giving the vibe of Last Generation. Yeah. So the song you showed me previously was like, more, like, fits more in our generation. Yeah. Let's move on to the last artist. I think this artist can be called the symbol of Vietnamese music in this era. That's a, He's the most famous artist in Vietnam. Oh, I, that's that's like... Common. No, that's like a, a fact. Even J Park like his music. Okay, so that's that's a, like that's a yeah. Kind of... The first time he got to feed with a U.S. artist, which is Snoop Dogg. Oh, that's a, that's a <laughs> very yeah. Famous. Okay, so that's really well. <laughs> The view. Yeah, he even had more. Oh, like, he collaborated with the game. I know the game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see. That's the pain. <laughs> you know Madison Beer? Yeah. She's in this video too. Wow. Okay. So you she's see so, the. She's so famous. Yeah. Okay. Just the quality is already so good. Yeah. <laughs> the high difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's so poetic. Like that's one of his features, I think. It was amazing, honestly. So good. Yeah. So good? I think it's so good. It's like, uh, like I can feel like compared to the previous two, this one is more like mainstream. Yeah, he's definitely mainstream. Yeah, yeah, like he's said, definitely yeah, mainstream. Yeah, yeah, because he's so famous. Yeah. Snoop Dogg and then like yeah. the cast. Yeah. That's so good. Just the quality of the video. Yeah. Content. What do you think about the, the music? I think it's good. Like, it's super good. It's, it's like, like a US producer or something. Like, really? I, I don't know. I just feel like... He produced it by, on his own. It feels like a really, like, 
experienced westernized uh, producer or something. Yeah. Like, I can tell he's so, so, so famous. Yeah. And this like, is... two years ago, he can already collaborate it with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. That's that, insane. That's insane. This is like one of his first big milestones in his career. And he even had a really famous saying that if you want to sit in a position that no one can sit, you have to endure things that no one can endure. Yeah, that kind of makes sense to some Yeah, because he also had a lot of scandals, but not like, not scandals, that sounds bad, but like... A negative uh, yeah, reputation. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he never speak up. For oh. years, it's only the public's guess. Oh. It has never been confirmed by him. This video that he published two weeks ago, it I think it marks the his decision to like to enter the international market. Okay. Let's see. What do you think? Oh my god, the quality! I'm also very surprised by the the lyrics. I don't even know what that word is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we don't even know. <laughs> Pretend. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to use it in some yeah. way. Do you know a, a pattern in Sun Tung's song? Usually he never finish his sentence, but only leave it like middle. Yeah, yeah, but I guess that's like, like a certain style. Yeah, style like series. feature. Yeah. Like thought I can live without. without I think it's also a good way to like make people remember his songs. Yeah, because like instead of a long sentence. Yeah. It's like a way to inject it in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think? But it fits so well with the, I don't know. The like, concept? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know if this is like a proper music video because it's like changing the pictures only. Yeah, it's it's called official vi yeah, visualizer. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a smart choice for him to yeah. let us focus on only the music yeah. instead of like visualizing every yeah. detail. That's what he wanted to, us to like focus on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it, that's a good... It's like, what do you think about this song? Success. I think it's really good. Like, I kind of know why you say this is like a move to enter international market. Yeah. Because it that fits in like international audience taste. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Uh, it's and you have to listen to this song. I I I think like you will like every song of his because me too. His lyrics are very good too. He wrote it by himself. Or? Yeah. Of course. That's, that's, oh my god, that's really shocking. Wow, I kind of get why he's so famous internationally. He's not only good at making mu good music, the lyrics itself, how can you write yeah. such a good Yeah, how can he, yeah. yeah. Just like by himself. Yeah. Oh my god, I keep getting surprised by the quality of his music. Yeah. Yeah. The ability to like replay his song, one of the reasons why I think personally for me is that his song doesn't really direct it towards an individual, but like the, the lyrics are very general. Although it's about love, but it's general. It's not like MC Key, which you feel like oh, he's directing towards like a person who's he, he's expressing love. But this is yeah, like, yeah. like in every of his song. Oh, yeah, it's just the feeling, yeah, right? Yeah, Can you feel that? Because like yes. lyrics is very grand and no one kind of feel personal. I think that's one of the reasons why he's like more accepted by like international yeah. like, audience. Because like it's very grand. So like you don't need to like feel that you have yourself, you see yourself in yeah, that. Yeah, you don't have to have like specific emotions yeah. to feel the same way. Yeah. You feel. MCK is more like is expressing his own like emotions. And yeah, like, and put it into song. Yeah, but like when you're facing that kind of situation, you listen to MCK, you really feel it. But, like yeah. if I'm like, for example, really happy right now or like yeah. I'm not in that kind of situation, I listen to MCK. Yeah. I would just be like, oh, this is a good song, but like I don't yeah. really get the yeah, same yeah. feeling. Yeah. But this one is more like Okay, whenever I listen to the song, I you can feel still it. understand yeah. it. First of all, I want to say like I can't really rate them first place, second place, because as you say, they're in different streams. It's really a good thing that you show me they're like different singers in Vietnam, because I wasn't expecting so much after seeing those three artists. I feel yeah. like Vietnamese singers are really getting into like international market, right? Yeah, it's so impressive. Yeah, for me as a non-Vietnamese, I would say the music melody itself. I think I would recommend this to people. Yeah, so, like oh, listen, like the melody of this song is so good. Yeah. Second, because you're Vietnamese and yeah. you told me about the lyrics and stuff. Yeah. So next time when I'm recommending this to other people, I would say like, yeah, you have to read the lyrics so that you know. Yeah. Like inner, inner, yeah. Inner. I hope the singers from my country can also do that thing. Yeah. That you guys have been doing for so long. Yeah. So that's really impressive.